looking for some early info on the crane peak, and he'll get more than he bargained for if he continues to swing in. My gosh, two Glock dinks and one converted. Tessus was the name of the tip of Golden's tongue when asked who is posing the biggest threat. Smoke, very powerful one. Bit of a one-way. You can see their feet. Nothing away at them. They look to commit to this, and that's a freebie for Crims. Safe plant spot for Borup, but JW, they're closing the gap. They've already pushed up. They can't leave. He said his name and he'll appear, apparently. Tessus is making out hard work for Fnatic, but it looks like the closer is going to be Kadian coming out with a nice little uh, two-player pickup, leaving just Flasher in the okay. 1v3. He does have the kit, and he knows that he needs to remove some of these players. He can't just play it out as he'd like. I wonder, I wonder. His options are so limited, and he hears them all clearing, sweeping the site, calling it clear. He can't be going for a ninja, can he? Oh my good lord. Well, they're on the ramp. He'll at least go to tickle it. Get himself another kill. Not to be. Stown stands and converts into number one for the boys of Heroic. Tessa started us off opening the account with a very nice catch on ramp. Cadian followed with a double of his own. And there's the aforementioned Stown. Oh, we get an even bigger view of Borup's uh, PC setup. So he's plugged all of his bits and bobs in. <laughs> Great shot from Cadian. That was nice. I just, whenever I watch Flusher, I just feel like he has a plan. Mm. There's like no situation he won't have an idea for. Whether it's winnable or not, he'll 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 have a little something up to see. Clean eco though. How do I make it as awkward as possible for my adversary? Definitely a subliminal dialogue he goes through. So it is the full eco right here from Fnatic. One thing to note: they haven't gone for the force by, which seems like we've seen that almost every single time. Uh, not even just on Vertigo, just from all the teams, they seem to be really battling. But Fnatic are happy to get the rifles up in the following round. So this is one of the ones where uh, we talk about Harry Potter. We need to watch some more movies. Uh, clearly. You don't like Harry Potter? I, I love it. But we can talk about what else is a good movie. Um, I, I like the Jurassic Park series. I used to be so scared of Jurassic Park. I used to have nightmares about the uh, raptors in the long grass, the tall grass. Yeah. Mm. Still scares me now. I love that scene. Hate it. Get out awesome. of the long grass. Clever girl. Get out of the... And they're all running through it. It's fantastic. Ooh. running through the first two, but to be honest, Fnatic have done very well to chip away at two rifles. That's two armored rifles, Bronn, and <laughs> just investigating the security there, making sure that there wasn't any uh, gaps to be exploited. Can't blame mm, Concrete looks good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The contractor just checking out the flooring. That's the end of Crims, though. He's got two rifles about to be swinging into his location, maybe even three. Nico there for safekeeping. Don't need to move a muscle. Crims looks like he's going to be going down with this ship if he doesn't start to get out of there. I think his intentions there was to try and get a unload his mag at the corner for the save. Let's try and get the kind of uh, dosia x one made a la Vertigo. Precisely, my dear Watson. Sherlock Holmes, is that yeah, me there? Yeah, I love that. There we go, more it's movie references. Populate. And uh, there's Mr. Crims. So let's see how this one pans on out with the first gun round coming into play here. We will actually see Flusher buying into a UMP so that he can have extra utility behind this. Has HE, Flash, Smoke, and a Molotov. Chad, do I need to remind you um, of that 15 rounds that he played with only an MP9 on oh, this map? Oh yeah, he loves it. And yeah. uh, do you think that's part of his versatility or stuff? I think that's definitely part of his versatility. Ooh, love a bit of that. Nice proactive play. Does get traded out on, though. You're not going to get away with it. It seems they're very aware of all these little bits and pieces they might want to try, but they keep it a level pegging. Four to four here. So this has meant they can only have two players defending this A bomb site right here, and it will be Crims and JW. As you can see, Crims is the only one with a bit of utility, a smoke. And they've also opted to go for head armor across the board. However, there aren't any SMGs that can make those heads pop if it was to only be the Kevlar, so it doesn't really matter. Those AKs, one bullet to the dome, and that's it. That's all she wrote. And this posturing right here, it can't even be dealt with. They can't flash in. They just have to rely on their individual ability and hitting the shots here, Fnatic. I mean, it's something that I used to put next to their names for sure, but let's see if they can still do it now. Nice little smoke wall up, gonna force the CTs away, isolates JW, and down he goes. Yeah, that's textbook. Molotov behind him. Safe plant behind the smoke. This is, yeah, probably the most default key attack onto A you're gonna see. 
Spread out into a default. Group up on ramp. Smoke, plant, play after plant. Molly on short as you have contact ramp. It's banging. It's exactly what they wanted. And at the moment, the only one that's making it awkward is Flusher. It was a 1v4. He's managed to line up two of them. And if Tessus overextends, Cadian is low. Unfortunately, though, I don't know if he's got the time for this. A fake would be perfect. A smoke would have been dreamy. And that's Tessus with banging timing. Need to stop saying that. It's still 3-0, to zero, though. And myself, Lauren, and Chad are in for the long haul. We do see the uh, Swedes down to about the 3k mark, Chad. So they may have to swallow their pride one more time. Yeah, and this is the problem. I understand you want to get the rifles out as quickly as you can, but it's not a full buy round. And even if they went for the force buy, it would have been the same scenario just in the fourth. So here we can just see some upgraded pistols coming on through. But like we spoke about, this definitely isn't a map where we know what to expect from Fnatic. We can't sit here and tell you with any authority because it's four months ago since their last official on it. We don't even know how much they've been practicing it. And if it's a choice between a nuke that you've been struggling on, a very good map for Heroic, and a map that maybe you can pull out as a pocket pick, and take advantage of their tendencies, well, they've gone with the latter. Oh, okay. Hello, that's quite tasty. Oh, if the third came in, I'd be kind of up for it, but a 3v3 now, and with this position, so pretty. I don't know if you expect the boost, apparently you do. You read it all, JW still lives, gets an AK, and has a double dip. He's going for it. Nico denies to stay alive, and Heroic get another on the board. This feels um, comfy for Heroic so far. Well, now the AWP should come out if JW wants to wield one. On, so let me the money. See. There it is. He's picked one up. So this is going to be a buy round with full utility behind it. We'll actually get to see what type of approach Fnatic want to go with this CT side right here. So that was uh, not too bad. They had a couple of frags come their way. Important to get that confidence up in the early stages here. Double AWP. So Flusher will be wielding the secondary. Mm. He's going to be taking that one over towards the B-bomb site early. JW taking his over towards A early. Pick it towards the top of the ramp, but ooh, Burr up. He gets absolutely destroyed by Brolin, and JW finds one as well. An AWP of Flush is going to chime on in, and somehow it's 2v5. Yeah, just as we start the round, it seems it's over. JW's going to confirm it if he gets this info, and bam, it's down, gone. Flash in caution, but Cadian alone on ramp as the final player with 90 seconds left to be played. He doesn't want it to be spotless, but a missed shot caught in the transition. That's a spotless round from Fnatic and nearly the team ace, just the double from JW, the exception. It started with Brolin fragging. These highlights will give us the context. So it was two. Oh. What a nonsense shot that was from Flusher. Great work. Predicts the rotate. It's important to start picking up the details here that we're seeing from Fnatic. For example, they left mid completely open there. So Heroic need to be doing the same thing. Stown, when he walked out mid, has to say there was nobody close mid. They were playing, you know, 3-2 split. Right. I was able to walk out, get a bit of information there. And actually, Heroic have had to take a save round here. So fast towards B with some flashes. And this just looks like it's going to be shooting. Or we'll make it. Fish in a barrel. Easy. Let's have a little peek. On's that. You don't want to feed at this point. That is the one thing. So you can see the tees. They've, they've pushed up a little. They made you uncomfortable. A little too close to your front door. Oh, I wonder if Flush is, excuse me, Brolin's considering Borob's push. He, does, he definitely pre-aiming it. But if they keep him attention drawn. No, oh, that's perfect. Oh. Crouch is under the aim as well. Not many issues left for Flush. But perfect. Flash gets another. Tessus. Clawing the first for Heroic. Another two. And Chad would be happy. Unfortunately, the backflip going to keep on. Follow it, Rush. Alien analyst. Stick with it, Rush. He's going to get his feet down. It's a good rotation. The judges now. Scorecards. Oh, he hasn't quite mastered it, has he? Oh, He's oh, get oh. His feet. Yes. Slow rotate. Yes. Boots on the ground. It's perfect form from Tessus. You do love to see it. Not every day of the week you get a... Golf clap. How many stories up are we? 52? Who worked 51? Well, it's on, it's on the side of the walls. Rush, can you free fly around to see what floor we're on? Kadian's not going to get much done with that deagle. There we go, 51 floors up. Uh -huh. Where did you say that? Am I blind? On the left, by the scan. Under the radar now. Oh, uh, I saw it. Yeah. I am a little bit blind. That's why I'm actually wearing glasses, but... Thanks, Rush. I appreciate that one. Get closer, Rush, just so Lauren can see. Yeah, just this so is like, right. looks like my mum's phone now. There you go. Hey, that's what her text looks like. You know, like. <laughs> you, know, you hold it further and do like the weird, like, down the nose thing. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, it's like, you know, you show like a friend a really, like, niche <laughs> meme and they look at you just like, what? It's <laughs> like me trying to read it. There we go. Wrapped up in the end. And the orb with Flusher is looking quite comfy. This is nice. That wasn't bad at all. I, I do want to see what the answer is now. As you said, it's that kind of mid was open. Is this the round they can maybe 
do a little something with it? Do they try and exploit that or how do they want to approach these orbs? Yeah, this is the problem, right? Because you are in a black box if you're heroic. The only thing that you can do is call your strategies from spawn. So the tendencies and the players that you're trying to isolate and negate, you don't even know where they're going to be holding. Well, we've established there's a double op setup. We know that JW was over towards A. We know that Flush was over towards B, but that's about it. JW going for an audacious shot. We'll have time to cower. And up they go, and bye-bye, Golden. Big shots from Tessus. He's got Util as well. Happy to drop, doesn't need to. See his routine. Very, very well ironed out. This idea of, like... I, I like the idea of JW eventually on this ramp. If Fnatic ever get comfortable on vertical, him just being hyper-aggressive everywhere. I mean, as said, I don't know if you can get away with it as much these days, but I'll always get a little bit of nostalgia and excitement seeing JW on an AWP, and if there is the potential of it. Give the man a spawn. I'm sure he'd give it a good go. Crane is the twice seen we've seen from him. This early man advantage from Heroic. This is a, the dream for any T-side. You'll start to regroup, start to make your choice. It does seem like they are orientating towards the... I don't know if Bronn was reloading there. I heard a reload sound effect. I don't know if that's going to be... Jumping through and oh, it couldn't be better. Flashed in by Flusher. Gets the one, gets the bomb, no less. And Nico's now been given a, a very cruel task. Trying to boost him off. Okay, I thought they were looking for construction. They must have cleared that in the interim. 30 seconds, starting to get a bit sketchy. Cadian, however... Oh, he's got room. Yeah, to his right, an issue. Crims will not be smoked off. 20 seconds. What are they doing? Do they have a Molotov? There is none from Fnatic. So with this uh, frag, we are cooking with gas all of a sudden. If Nico isn't careful, Cadian jumps in front of the president. Get down, sir. He's got the bomb down. The round plays on. Down with a frag as well. My goodness, the narrowest of margins, putting Heroic on top. Good Lord. The second of difference to that is obscene. And the retake with an AWP. Uh, let's see what Flush can do. You've got to have something quick here. Surely, Roland, can he start working forward? Smoke goes in. I think he saw enough. He did. Down goes down, and now the 2v2 begins. Smoke's still in place, so they can isolate, but they've got to get moving. Yeah, and Flusher with the kit as well. His responsibility will be on to get onto that plant in just a round of smoke. Nico, Brolin catches him, though. It'll be an AWP recovery and a save, it seems. He gets the kit, but he doesn't have the time. Grab the AWP and get the hell out of there. Heroic extending oh. their lead. He's going to get wall bang. No! Oh. Oh, just via Nat's wing. He does go down, Bora perhaps inflicting just enough damage before he falls. And that's five for Heroic on the T side of Vertigo. You can see but the fact that they all went down there, Chad, it's not going to be pretty for either squad. No, it's not ideal. And the opening obviously was caused by Katie. And I was just watching that back to see how he snuck on in. There was a timing where Crimps dropped towards CT spawn, was jiggle peeking towards the top of the ramp. And then he transitioned back in position while JW was rotating over to get the slack. And that's how Katie was able to sneak up onto the site. So that was the key right there. Just a little timing that Katie threaded the needle. You never saw it coming. And now, Fnatic, down two to five here, will be able to rebuy the AWP back out in the hands of JW, and through the smoke, her up will fall. And you give him an inch, he'll take a mile, a bit of tracer fire through the smoke was all he needed to adjust his aim. This will take some of the pace out of Heroic's gameplay for now. The question I ask is, what's B looking like? I just saw Brolin fall back into the site, so no aggressive pushes there. Their flank is not at risk. The T's only have one smoke left to put into play at this point. CT still have mollies, there's an additional on flusher, a couple of smokes, a couple of flashes. So this isn't going to be a comfy site hit. I feel it's not going to be as comfortable as before, but... Oh, they're flashing him in. Oh, gosh, they did this quite nicely before. This worked well, Golden. Oh, the timing. They were blind, but he just goes into the pre-fire on the flash. Crims there, still dancing on short. And actually, even with just one smoke, it's still working out. This is lovely work from the T's, just super powerful. Going through the motions, it feels. I enjoyed that. Save, surely. You put them in such dire situations. Roland, kit right in front of him, smoke from his teammate. It's likely they're going to want to try and go for this, or at least just suppress him. That incendiary will force the fight, and... Oh, Heroic are in such prime positions, and Brolin, he's fallen to Tessus, that's enough. It's time for six for Heroic on their map pick. This is definitely starting to get exciting, Fnatic. 
One of the rounds stolen from them, the others just taken by force. Okay, so maybe yeah, a little bit more aggressive play. We were yeah. speaking about this the other day, that if you are getting beaten and battered on the bomb site, you might need to go more all in. And that's a question of whether or not Fnatic have anything prepared. You can see Stown here grabbing the second on the site, dropping Crims, and, well, not happy with how that one went on down there, is he? Always quite animated, his old Crims. He's seen a few fists and desks before. But it will be the buy coming out from Fnatic once more. Flusher on that UMP again. AWP for JW. Couple of M4 splattered across, but it's a change up. That was three nades through right there to deal with any aggression. But this is the 3 2 split. Oh my goodness, Tessus is playing with fire, or rather, playing with smoke. Krim shoots him through it. That's a sound cue. He'll tie. He'll be able to hide away and he's tied over for the rest of this one. He can be responsible for any sort of ramp aggressions, even jumping for the info. Look at the other mollies. How many left? Was that four? Yeah. Plenty to play with. So they could run that clock late, use them to try and force these players off the angles. JW now hindered somewhat towards ramp, but he, he can still play around. There hasn't been a fast hit, but Bronze probably wondering where they've gone here, and he might be in the right place at the right time. Flash comes in. Here come the T's. He's fallen off the angle, but he's got the information. Double flash comes out. Not bad for one, but Flush's flash can only do so much. Really important trade from Bor up there. If they got that for free, they'd have been right back where they started with less time and less players. This duel does kind of favor Stown. His teammate grouping. Oh, but Crimson's push is so good. A double push down on the ramp. The rest of the damage is not going to be having too much of an impact because Tessus, he's still at ramp. He's got the bomb, no health. Crimson's push echoing through this round. Oh, and TW for the USP in back of the head. An apt ending to a very phenomenal double. Crims does secure the round for Fnatic. We were talking about the aggression needed. Well, they sent four players over towards the A ramp right there to be able to set JW up with the AWP. And then once that one-way smoke over towards scaffolding was dropped by the T's, they actually backpedaled, right? They thought, we'll drop a smoke, we'll drop a molly, we'll force them back. That should be enough because the one-way makes it difficult for the scaffolding player to take a fight. But Crims disrespected it. Then he pushed it all the way down and was able to cut off that rotation. So all the information was Fnatic's right there. And they've been able to stifle this bank of heroic here. They will go for a buy. There's some AKs out on the board, a Mac 10, a couple of Deagles. They keep setting Brolin up quite aggressively here over towards the B lobby. So that's one of the other notes we can take from the defense for Fnatic. A deep smoke from Brolin, but does he know that there's two players in front of it here? Nico and Tessa set up. While well, the rest making a bit of a train over towards middle. So they will molly this. I wonder if Brolin's got a smoke prepared so he can stay on the line. This would be nice. These flashes. Flusher is setting up so many of his players. Absolutely. Another flash assist for Flusher. And Crims, this is a very fast flank. Nico, not prepared for that. Steps. And another. Well, that's a filthy angle, isn't it? Isn't it? Sure. Is he there on his own or was that a boost? Uh, there's the, the orange cone, I believe Just it is. Just on top of or the... Is he hell? Yeah. There's a lot of odd spots on this map. Uh, yeah, there you go. Can stand on the uh, the meshing. Yeah, okay, because I saw the when you boosted on the box as well in middle, you can hold the rotate from the box now. Like that's a, it suddenly becomes an, an actual useful position to have a lurker left, as opposed to just kind of a useless waste of time. Me, is there a way to see um, <laughs> flash assists these days? Uh, I know it's in the kill. If we were in game, yeah. So so for us, no. Um, we can, we can probably get SEO to take a look at Wait, it. I'm just maybe. curious if Flush has actually been as successful as I think. or He's if had it's at least three or four so it, far. As I said, now of 11 rounds, if that's the case, that's pretty good work. Um, but it could be all for nothing. Let's see what this one can do for us. Uh, pistols, pretty much it. No armor invest. Ooh, that's a bit wonky. We don't like to see that, Golden. Um, but so far, Crims is at least showing some pedigree here and some calm under this pressure. Can't get that M4, can they? Look at this, trying to jump across, fading out the shot. They got the knives out, but they're able to pick up the M4. So now if Stout can do any damage, maybe it's not so bad. Yeah, he's being loud about this. Trying to pinpoint the rotate. He's right to think there's one above him. And this is the beauty of Vertigo, or at least clutching in Vertigo, is if you've got any loud CTs, you really can keep that volume loud and pinpoint where a lot of those fights you want are coming from. 
He's so paranoid. He knows it feels like Crimps is baiting for the push above. You wouldn't be wrong to think that was on its way, but Crimps finishes off on his own. That's four kills for him. And all with the SMG as well, they're probably letting him hunt with the extra $600 in the kill reward, or rather extra 300 in contrast to the rifle. Let's see his uh, start of his quad kill. It was nice, neat and tidy. Even opting for the USP, ran out of bullets, was being rather slap happy with them, just cleanly onto Nico on that USP. Is that the stat we were looking for? Chad, you are more up on. Oh, hold up, let me alt tab. I've got lots of- Have a little look. I know you, you've got your gadgets and goodies. This is a quick round though, so we can look into that. Flash has just got another, so add it to the list, and he's just dived down with it. Yeah, he's exposed. I think he might just be going for a very calculated retreat. Resmokes it, nothing to worry about. Evades the molly, and he has B on lock. So the loss of Brolan will not have heavy ramifications today, at least not yet. Round 12, map one of our second series here on day seven of ESL1 Cologne. The playoffs are just looming around the corner. Flayer, Fnatic, and Heroic, excuse me, are both vying for just one spot. Loser eliminated. No one here. Yeah, it could be a retake A setup they've gone for here. Crimson's a smoke and so does JW. So if they're well aware of the retake smokes that you can set up, that might be in the back pocket for Fnatic here. But as the T's now put their utility down, they are locked out. There's not a whole lot they can do other than try and disrupt. And Golden, well, oh, he's going to load a full clip into a smoke. The tracer fire will come through and he's dead. They've, they've got enough of you smokes for the retake smokes. Yeah, but I don't know if they, they obviously don't have one for that uh, short position over towards scaffolding. But if they knew how to set it up, they could do it. I think JW is setting one up now. Okay, Crims can do the other on the fly. We're cooking with gas. We've got some in here. Here we go. Flash towards the ramp position. Crims goes out. Ooh. Okay. Flash. Smoke's on the bomb. Now we're talking. It's down. Been given the cruel, unenviable task of trying to force them off the bomb. Looks like it's done enough. Good frags though, 2v2 and knocks off the bomb again. It's just down onto JW, he just doesn't have the time and he doesn't have the health, he's gone and so are Heroic. Blowing up, Cadian lives to fight another day, won't be able to recover the AWP, so heavy casualties across the map. Plenty of cash to splash for Fnatic, but Heroic secure their seventh on this T-side start. Yeah, I think the fact that Fnatic already have five, it's it's not too shabby here. I didn't know really what to expect coming out. One of the keys earlier was obviously Flusher and JW's double orb setup. Interested to see if they go back to that as the game trends forward. There's not too many rounds left to deal with here. So as we get into round number 13, JW have what he needs. There's a couple of diffuse kits in play, a full lot of utility. But yeah, the flash assists were looking pretty good from Fnatic. Wow. Where did that damage just come from? His toes. He's got... Big orange fanatic socks on. Oh, he's stuck now. He's about to cook. You know, what do you do? Smoke! And maybe somehow survive. It looks like it'll come down to Crims. No, he can't even provide the support. Golden's trying as well. He could do damage here. A double into two fully health members of Heroic is contribution, and contribution enough. Gives Brolin Impressive. something to hold on to. He's thinking about it, isn't he? Kind of. Oh, God. I was going to say, glad he didn't. Nico looks like he's ready to behead down there. He shouldn't be waiting. T's mm -hmm. holding to see if anyone else is about. Cheeky little footstep right there from Stam. Wants to sound like a mistake. Wants to sound like it's enough to get Brolin a little antsy. He stands his ground. He wants that info so badly, and Nico knows it. Boom. That's perfect. Now that's the trigger for Heroic to go. They have the numbers advantage. They've got two smokes. Likely going to see those fall into the site. And with 30 seconds, they don't have to rush the rest. W and Stown. Left and right. Does feel so rinse and repeat, but I guess the difference is JW. But is Nico going to do this again? Oh, ho, ho, ho. the painful nature of that timing. JW goes down, and so does the round. You haven't planted, Chad. Oh, hold up a second. I got ahead of myself. Yeah, bite your tongue. Because if it, if they had another planted safe, we could have had something to say. It seems Flush has been dealt a pretty dud hand here. Might just have to roll over and accept this one. A smoke. A kit. I mean, you're right. Never going to write him out. This is this feels hopeless. It doesn't feel like he has any chance in going for this. If he nope. just wants to take them down with the bomb, then yeah, sure, Flusher. I see where you're going with this. 
They this have to stick plan. around. They start hunting. It looks like you'll at least take one. Nico's got the low HP. Now would be his time to peek and trying to take a couple of members down with the ship. He's done well. Can he avoid the radius himself? I'm afraid not. <laughs> Keeps happening to them. Yeah, they keep trying to be one. cheeky. They're hanging around and they keep losing their own guns. It's not ideal. You can see, so this was Golden kind of spur to life. Really gave it a good go, but the timing, here it comes. <gasps> the bomb. Ooh, now, I wonder how accidental and how deliberate that was, because it did sync up Nico's peak with the bomb being tickled, right? Sure. Yeah. And that's a pretty safe assumption that if there was a short player, now would be the time to start looking at the other way. Let's ho let's say it was perfectly planned. Yes. <laughs> let's just paint it that way. It sounds a bit more exciting. It makes it hurt less as well if you're JW. Good incendiary off the crane. And that early utility not doing as much damage. I'm excited for you guys at home to be checking out Heroic CT Cider because if you've missed it, a lot of great lineups and a lot of great damaging util to those round setups. JW gets a really big frag here. That's going to put an AK into their grasp. He's considering it. Cadian nade on the nose. A smoke from the CTs as well for the retrieval. And now even potential boosts. Loads of time in this one. E player's passive. It is only Flusher with Deagle. You can see Roland responsible for middle. Thank you, Rushley. Funny that. They're going A again. Believe it or not. I mean, when you've got this much util and it's had so much success and you know your opponents are at a less than favorable buy. Mm. The problem here is if they're more forward, they get pushed out of place by flashes and molotovs. If they stand where they are, they're going to be smoked off in no time. There's three smokes, two molotovs to work with. They, even if they want to spam back, the tracer fire shows up through. None of them have the silence Dem4. Uh, we talked about the second wave of utility that was used by G2 on this map and obviously by Heroic as well. I, I, I look at Fnatic and I wonder if that would be a possibility, but I don't. I also don't know they're comfortable, like their level of comfort on this map, because it doesn't feel... Oh, I love this. They could boost him up over this. Oh, yeah. okay. Shout, Alex. Not quite. The end of the first, but the plan's still going down. And JW just a second too late on the frag. Now, unfortunately, even though they have the numbers, the pressure is on Fnatic again. They need a defuse, and they ain't got no kit. It's got to be fast. It's got to be now. It cannot slow down. And Stown's going to be a real nuisance. God, he was caught in the heels. The smoke was still plumed up. They couldn't fully see him, but they certainly had the feeling. Now waiting, smoke comes in, high flash. Stown gonna turn it, sprays in. Oh, get him off. oh he's dead. I think they've done enough. I don't know if pretty that's close. 10 seconds. He's gonna be pretty close. He's got it. Oh, he has oh, he it. Has he's out of here. Jump hell. off. Ooh, not quite. But regardless, Heroic will take it. And that was the closest Fnatic of come, just rotting the clock. Down with the necessary frag onto Flusher. He had the presence of mind not to fully unload his clip. I like the attempt from Fnatic. Boosting over the smoke. If JW gets that frag a second earlier, we could have been looking at a very different round, but the retakes and the afterplants on Vertigo, you're starting to get a good read for them now, Lauren. You know, you can see how difficult it becomes once they play, like they're planted for ramp and they're set up on ramp. I find it curious there's really only one access point to a CT side bomb site on a map like this. I haven't seen a CT team look good enough on it yet to make me feel that that's not poor map design. Until you remember that technically those CTs can also be worrying about middle because that's a very viable flank right. that, that you have to address as well. And it's not playable towards the CTs in any other way. As I said, I, I'm, I'm curious about it if it's actually a good map or if really right now we're seeing a team be able to exploit what's really viable and that's credit to Heroic. They've yeah. seen, hey, if we rinse and repeat this, let's say nine rounds, we do it 15 rounds, doesn't really matter how many, and we make it stick nine times, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Now, for once, it looks like they're considering something else. The final round of the half is when they go, oh, there's another side of it. To be fair, though, I think it's been Flusher and Brolin have been pretty, like, st steadfast at holding this. They're on their way to B. Very much so. Over the, on the box, Brolin has the audacity to take an aggressive line. Come back. Well, that's pulled all of the CTs out of their pre-established A, A positions. The first one on the scene is at Snipers. Golden with a potential mid-push here. If he gets down that ladder fast enough, suddenly his presence becomes a nuisance. 25 seconds. Golden's right to be going fast here. 
as he descends as silently as possible, an audio cue could really give up the game. Okay, possibly heard. Smoke, smoke for the flank. Oh, it perhaps. was for the flank. <laughs> That's me trying to justify a whiff smoke, <laughs> but eight seconds, Lauren. I don't even know if they're going to get a chance to plant here. There's no chance. The round is fanatics. Just like that, it kind of fizzles out. And that's the end of our fence. Sorry, I was worried he wasn't buying armor or anything then. I was like, yeah, he's good, he's fine. <laughs> Where are they off to? A little bit of a B action to start us off. I wouldn't be a complaining. Stown immediately reacting and falling out. Why does Casper not have anything? Bang. Now we're cooking. And Stown doesn't seem to matter. He's getting the headshots necessary. Two, to be precise, backs away and respects the smoke. Brolin is the lurk. Nico could be vulnerable here, but pff, not if he's already taken down his teammates. And that should have been the trade. Golden and Brolin up against the world. Or make it just Brolin. Tessis is there and Heroic have managed to find the double digits off the break. Just on that, Lauren, uh, yep. the fact that Kadian didn't buy anything right there, it's one of the things that if he wants to get the AWP up straight away, I was always questioning why we see teams or why we haven't seen teams play around with that a little bit more. Obviously, yeah, having... Specifically, have the economy built towards it? Well, yeah, and there's things that... Oh, okay, guys, head over to esl.gg slash fan Trace has been able to get his troops in a row He's here and they've, made, they've all organized. made signs. So Trace is like the school teacher doing Zoom classes. He's like, all right, guys, today we're going to get out our pencils and pens and we want to make a sign, okay? Get out your crayons. Now we're going to do an E. Do we all know what an E looks like? Okay, we're going to do a line down. So that's very good. He's, he's keeping good himself man. entertained. Uh -huh. It will be the force buy off the then back of that Then why would Cadian buy this gun rather than build it towards an orc? An orc? Wow. Well, watch this, Lauren. Let me tell you. There's a reason behind it. There must be. He wants to just get an early start throwing those bullets down range. Tessa, are you seriously crouching your way down ramp against potential Galils? Ooh. Even an AK in play. Yeah, okay, okay. What's going on here? He, that was enough for him. If it, The fact he wasn't fast, he thinks better of it. As it makes sense. I mean, you've got an Org who can double peek with you at different heights. You've got a scout training you down. This is the perfect angle for Caden. He doesn't need to go further than this, as long as he's got a teammate ready for the close swing. Let's see if the proof's in the pudding here for Caden. Interesting gun purchase. I can see the angle working to quite some degree here. This is lovely stuff. Tessus then plays it off the ramp. That's beautifully done. Oh dear. Really, really, really like that one from Heroic. It's caused a bit of a disaster. Rifles are recovered though, and there's certainly nothing out of reach for Crimson JW in a game of Counter Strike. We've got 50 seconds for them to play their favorite game. Let's see if they've got anything special for us in store in round 17. J Dub died to this a couple of times. Would love a bit of timing on his side for sure. But Nico has been switched over. A bit of a cheap cigar. Oh, he doesn't know what. What? Excuse me. The trade's there, but excuse me. Now Crim's left in the 1v3. And to be fair, I guess they didn't get all the information on how many players were on short. Oh! And they line up. That's not what you want to be doing. Crim's has the bomb, but do you expect Bore up here? Doesn't look like he does. Fakes it out. His back is presented and finished off. Borup does manage to profit. He'll upgrade. He's looking for the org, I imagine. But either way, it will be 11 to Heroic, and they do manage to fight off Crims. What an attempt. Gets the timing bang on, but Borup holds his nerve. We're into 11 to 6. Heroic's pick in this series. We've got some Fnatic fans calling in. More arts and crafts. More arts and crafts. Yeah. It's lovely. Let's see this again. Borup just catching off Grims. There was no way he was going to be checking that. So paranoid with 13 seconds, the pressure of the plant. And it is time for a timeout. Get them back on. Still Samuelson in the coaching role? Indeed it is. He took over from Yumpy, who's now over there at North. And Samuelson was uh, the coach of the Fnatic Academy. That's going back many a year uh, when Golden was on the squad. And now he is the main coach over there under the orange banner. This time out, maybe just to cool them down a little bit. I wouldn't expect them to go for a force buy at this juncture of the game. And as you can see on the other side of things, it was a costly round for that of Fnatic. But Lauren, one of the key reasons that the Org maybe picked up on the CT sides is once you're like scoped in and positioned with that weapon, you don't have to jiggle peek the same way you would do with an M4, right? When you're up close and personal like that, he can use it a little bit more, uh, I guess, like a turret. And you can see there some massive frags which helped the right get across the line. Have to be careful here, boosting's down up and over. Should be greeted with a couple of big kills. Oh, that's two. The nade could be a third too. That could be more if that reach just far enough not to be. And the MP9 mid. Chad, how did you get it in their heads? 
How did you convince them that, that was the play? So we just sat on every broadcast, because we basically do every broadcast. We just say right. MP9's mid. They didn't do it as uh, aggressively as what I would we have We go liked. all the way through. Yeah, you Full need Full commit. If you lose, ladies and gentlemen, at home, if you're playing a matchmaking game, or an ESCA game for that matter, it'll probably work over there too. Flash not getting any more than this. By yourself, an MP9, and Kevlar. And right. rush middle, hold that W key and your first spawn. Get him jumping like a bit of a gla. Get in their face, keep pushing, don't stop, and you'll win the round, guaranteed. Okay, but what if I have someone, there's, there's a player I play with, his name's like Quick, uh, Fast, um, Rush. So, it's something like that. Yeah, and, yeah. and then sometimes when you call these strategies, they don't come with us. I, I don't know how to get around that. Is there a way I can maybe help on the MP9 pushes? Well, what you could do is publicly shame them live on broadcast in front of uh, thousands of people. I like that. That might be an idea. We do go back to the ramp, though. Fnatic do at least have the rifles out. They've got what they need to maybe make something of this. But 6 to 12, it's looking pretty juicy and heroic sitting on those SMGs still. God, if they get this too. Yeah, the bonus of sorts. Had the option to upgrade their rifle, they felt like they'd be able to weather the storm without. So look at this, Heroica retaking parts of the map that they've lost. This is what we like to see on the CT side, jostling for position, staying active, not being dictated to. As more utility gets rinsed out, you can see another Molotov holding them at bay, pushing them back, rotting this clock down. So there'll be. And then you get a flash over. Oh, Ooh, wait. Here it comes. It couldn't be better timing. Thank you very much. They'll take the first and the second. And Ramp is once again under pressure, under scrutiny. You can't take those wall bangs without being concerned about the flank. And well, speaking Ooh. of, Cadian is working on something rather spicy himself. Chopping up jalapeno as we speak. The map's looking smaller and smaller here for the T's, and little do they know it as well. There go those smokes towards the site. It's down, going for an aggressive peak just to recover that M4 for the last 30 seconds of play. And at this time, I'd start getting Tessus, I'd be, I'd given him the green light. Just go cause damage, do something with an SMG, because here comes Golden, and he's pulled a magical double out of the hat. Cadian's flank can win the round, though. That's the bomb on Flusher with 18 seconds. The timing screaming at the screen doesn't get me further. But that bomb should be planted and doesn't even need to be when they're fragging like that. Flusher and Golden take over the round and secure a must win for the Fnatic gang. Props on the poise there of Flusher not to panic and just try and run in towards the site after Golden got those two openings. The fact that he was still cognizant of the fact there could be a flank. He even dropped out a flash there to go for that duel. That was everything. This was a bit of a bonus scenario for Heroic in a way. He did have a costly force buy nice. in the earlier rounds. But this here was the duel. If Cadian wins that one, that's the round that's 13 on the board. But the AWPs and two of them will be coming out for Heroic here. So back towards a ramp fanatic hustle. A little bit quicker this time. Oh, that's the start that you dream of. Lovely stuff there. Walking away, two freebies. They can reset the pace, reset the tempo, and fall away. What did Crimson Flusher even do with this as JW just got found? Back it up, I guess. <laughs> Back it up. It's such a stark contrast, isn't it? You see how hard they had to work to pick up the seventh, and now you see how little Heroic have to do to seal the deal for their 13th. Early frag from Cadian with a great flick and everyone else pulling one out themselves. Fun tidbit for you. Uh, in Astralis's comms, they call the corner Borups in Neo. They've given three places on the B site of Vertigo to the old Vertus Pro roster as an homage. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that nice? Why so that's people? Neo. Um, I believe the corner to the left, to the right of that gen from that camera is um, Pasha. Pasha. The other one's Snacks. The other, no, they don't, it's Taz. Oh. Taz is uh, in the ta what we call Snacks Corner. Okay. So that's the Astralis. Comms! That's the Flusher Frag. But Borup, he's making sure things don't spiral. He's going to get Molotov out of position and beheaded by Crims. Maybe we still got some game in today. Oh, he had his cross there in the right place. Certainly not too far off, but that's the 13. Three away from Heroic converting their map pick. And I'm looking at the cash. They don't have much to splash. 3.6, 3.8 at the top end. Stown was finding his opening frag in middle. Glass Cannon Orp, no less. They are taking some initiative, Chad. And it is nice to see it paying off against a tier one opposition. Yeah, and, and this is the thing about Heroic, right? They've been putting in the hard work. Hunden coming in as the coach for this team means dog in Danish. Hunden. Yeah. That uh, makes sense. Hunden. Yeah. Yeah. I'm there now. German language. Never made that Based off of the German language, of course. 
and yeah, you can you like to see it. Look, Big's another story. In the in the previous season, they put it in the hard work. It showed they were became the number one team in the world uh, before we had the player break. And this is just what we're looking at now because everybody has the same confines. The the fact that going to land and needing that experience, setting up your PC, making sure the desk feels the right height, your chair's not a bit wonky, you need the arms taken off, you need me how to come out with the bloody uh, Allen key and undo it, and you know none of that stuff exists. You're in your environment, right? They're in a boot camp. They're able to say everything as they want. Things are looking good for a lot of these names here on the come up. Fnatic, on the other hand, they're on a four spy. Galil's Tech Nines and a grenade in their face. Yeah, and it could be softening them up for the SMG. Maybe even a second Molly. They are low, extinguished, and a chance for Cadian squandered. He's in trouble. There's a lot of attention coming their way towards B here, and Nico's not really in a prime position to finish them off. It seems like they're doing all right though. JW with the AK. It's double orbs, but with only one remaining, thanks to Stown catching that lurk and cutting him off. What's JW's plan here? Jumping through a smoke, Stown's prepared and heroic. Looks set for 16 here, a matter of time. Cadian certainly not going to be saying the same kind of thing. Wants to keep them rigid, wants to keep them regimented. So that's four, now five CT rounds for heroic of the last six. I do feel as though when we looked at this map pool, I'm pretty sure all of us expected it to go to three. I, I think that's well, a fair assessment. Yeah, uh, that, that definitely is a good way to look Un at it. Unless Heroic pulls off something that I didn't expect on Overpass, potentially, which obviously is, is their uh, right to do so. I thought maybe Fnatic could pull something miraculous off here, but the likely case is we do go three maps in these, you know, sort of elimination games. They're fighting for survival. It's, it's not going to be an easy ride. And the map pool, with Nuke being in there for Fnatic, clearly kind of lent to this. Flush, uh, is there anyone going to give him a chance? Not just yet. As Borup does dance with danger, but falls back into place. And the T side, looking like their eyes are set towards Borup's defense. What the hell, these nades are targeted here for him. Swims, swings back out and gets his head ripped off. Could be a problem here. This is the best looking chance we've seen, especially when Flush is playing around smokes. They're so deep into the site. That's Fnatic I'm referring to. Heroic, they're in a bit of a spot of bother. They've got the weapon advantage. They've got the kits. They got ready for Flusher, though. Still handled. And now it gets a bit bit more problematic. Brolin is their shining beacon. They've got armor behind this, but he's the only one with a weapon. Galil for Crims, too. And just as they're trying to set stuff up, the suppressing shots, halfway ticked. Saving. They're saving it. I like the call. It's smart. It's percentage play counter-strike here, but JW seeing if you can ruin that. <laughs> Two orbs, imagine if he gets them both. He's still got a good shot at this. Maybe not with Tessus holding the elevator push and now perhaps a sigh of relief. Yeah, no one else is on the hunt. That is a save of all four weapons from Heroic. <laughs> Playing the percentages, uh, just to kind of quickly define that for anyone that feels like that's a little vague. Realizing that they need two points over the next pff, math seven. They need to win two of the next seven rounds. And uh, and so why not not squander all of that cash faffing for a site that you would struggle to retake? And it all started with stack nades on Borup. You can see their B defender was really isolated. And by the time that his teammates had to react to that death, they were already sm smoking off gens and getting that bomb down. So coming in, second bite of the cherry with all that good stuff, two AWPs down holding that B push and flashed off the angle. He could be hunted down. Flusher had the right oh. idea, but they got nades of their own. And it's rare to see Flusher so caught out by the HGs. He's down to 35 before he sees anyone. Some chunky nades. Drops all his pleasant. util. Yeah, just, just throws it out. Well, probably not going to have this for much longer. Well, Tess is looking like he's ready to go as well over towards scaffolding. Radiant. Waiting to see if anyone comes up towards ramp. Borup did find Flusher, so that's kind of found its eventual end. Tess did swing. Does get one, gets straight on. Traits are good for the T's here. They caught Cadian in, in a kind of weird transition area. Now the mid alert comes out. J Dub does succeed, and suddenly there's a little bit of life in them, but Stown still is standing and that's spawn, a big Alex. question. You can hear all of this. Very audible as JW maneuvers. Down off to a flying start, and JW is there as well. He's on for the 1v3 here, Lauren. He's got a smoke and a kit as well. It's down, taking control, looking for the 1v3, gets the info onto Golden. A nade won't find him. And he's looking cool as a cucumber. He's hit two ridiculous shots. He's on for a clutch against Fnatic for Matt Point. Smoke's a bit deep here. 
Yeah, he would have been exposed just there in the corner of the smoke anyway. So Golden would have had that one wrapped on up. <laughs> that one got dicey there for a second. Good attempt. Now Fnatic is starting to get into this and potentially into the conversation with one more round. We like to wait till they get to double digits before we see how furious it could really be. And there it is, Golden finishing him off. I guess they don't even have uh, 15 on the board just yet, so this might not be a done cat? and dusted. Yeah. You really look, you're straight to the animals, aren't you? We've had a dog, we've had a bird, we've had just, a cat. I just don't, like, humans aren't that entertaining in comparison to fluffy animals sometimes. some snakes and lizards and... No. Nah. we got a goat. Maybe we get a goat in here. <laughs> a goat? That's your goat in? I don't know. People have weird pets. Yeah. We've got to go on the desk right now, Chad. Thank you very much. I like the lineup. Look at that. So that's one we can steal, Chad. This can be your job, and me and Lauren can be the sandbags, boys. As long as I can bait you guys, I'm fine. Oh, they're not even sandbags. Okay, so they swing on it from here. So they wait for the sound cues. That's probably a little premature. Don't go for it yet. No, Katie. Uh... Uh... If only had X-ray turned on. Oh, why aren't you just uh... wall hacking? You get it right every time. Oh. Hey, Rush, how many rounds do you think are left in this one, mate? Um, I think we're going all the distance here, if I'm going to be completely honest. Come on, mate. It's, pro, it's not I, Pro League I, yet. It's not Pro League that's yet. That's true. So pro League is around the corner, and then it really is going to be all the rounds. Yeah. All the rounds. Every Bonus rounds. Watch down now with the BD50 in the back. Yeah, give it to us. Give us a round. Down now with the BD50 in the back. It's yeah. going to be looking left to right. The T's, the creeping, the crawling. The other guys are rotating over, but Stout, can he give him some time here? Lots of utility coming in. There's no way he's going to make it out alive. And oh, he does get one. Can't believe it. However, there's a lot of T's here. Ready to get some frags, crimps now, and that's it. Easy round for the Fnatic boys. For me, I like the way it does sound slightly like Rush is on like a ham radio or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just on the wireless. <laughs> yeah, he's just in his basement. He's got his own little like radio setup that he likes to broadcast. Fantastic. 14 to 10. <laughs> uh, and our analyst Rush does believe it's going all the way. I have to keep that one in mind. Wow, a custom Fnatic mask crafted there. So good job. The arts and crafts stalled. continuing. Don't put tape on your eyebrows, guys. Keep the tape off. That's going to hurt when you peel that off. All right. Strong as your tape. Just a bit of sticky tape. Don't worry. Boost again. This is the fanatic answer to the CT aggression. We haven't actually seen Heroic go to contain the early ramp smokes. About this time is where I'd start predicting to see, with the absence of the HGs and Molotovs that typically you'd see Heroic use to retake ramp control, maybe we get some aggressive warping or even a little boost to Rue. Molly, flush him back, and perhaps they can boost. This is what I'm talking about. That should be a frag. Roland spots him. Jumping for the info. Cadian, however, onto JW. Gives the opening frag to the Danes. Tentative stuff now. Ooh. Stown, though. This could be Knife gorgeous. Out. Roland does check. He has a glancing look, and the double is outstanding. It feels like Rush's prediction for all the rounds. Maybe a little short-sighted, but we know he knows better than us. The man is quite the myth he here. He knows more than we do, so maybe this round is not over yet. I think you might be onto something there. I think Golden's got a real shot at this. Oh, the jiggles are so good. So are his shots, though, a double. It's not enough. It does not follow through. And Stown and Cadian, with the powers combined, find all five frags. Stown gets the most credit, though. He's responsible for middle, and at such a young age, taking the initiative to descend that ladder, cut off the rotate, then follow through on the double as well. That was the round in itself. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Let's see it again from Cadian. So he catches JW hunting. That was the first blood. This is what I'm talking about. Catching Fnatic unawares and following through, converting into Brolin and Crims. That's the end of that one. And that's Heroic closing in on map point. They've got five to play with now. And Fnatic up against the ropes. Margin for error reduced to zero in the first map of this series. Double orps, a smoke, excuse me, a MP9 for Tessus. And we'll see some smokes flying out early to try and contain this ramp position. Brolin. Oh, good flash. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, JW, there's wall bangs, there's nades, and it's chaos into the A site. Golden for heads too. And it looks like this round's going to be about 20 seconds total. You know, sometimes you, you don't want to spend hours on it. You want to get it over and done with nice and quick, straight in the site, and well, they just 
bang out shots. I don't know how much more to say about it. Some nice early flashes towards uh, scaffolding, some good pressure, but I mean, they just took fights. JW was on nothing, and he still just ran the hell in and got one for his trouble. Right, well, I mean, you, they know that there's going to be CTs panicking, trying to yep. fit, you know stem the bleed of this ramp fight. And well, he continued to brawl. It worked wonderfully. Fnatic needed that. Flushes on the hunt, on the prowl. Down, very quick gamer. Not going to let that one slip the net. All right, well, this is starting to get a little bit interesting here because the money is not going to be fantastic on the heroic side of things. You can see here the loss bonus on your side of the screen just ticking on up. That was 1,900. Kadian only had 2K left in that back pocket. So as we move forward, there's probably at least another round or two on the board for Fnatic before things can get purchased on up in the Danish camp. A couple of camera shots here. It is a timeout being taken. Here's the replay. JW no HP with the entry and a big entry to find. And there's the trade. So Golden immediately, immediately there to scoop things up. Even finds himself a second. And this is where they need to discuss in the M4. There's a smoke being purchased and a P250 and a flash for Kadian. Another flash in the hands of Nico. And away they go. Back over towards A. All right. JW. He just reads you like a book. It's down. Got to feel a little... A little embarrassed by it. You tried to switch it up. You tried to make the difference. Oh, that's a lovely flash they threw for Borup's cross on him mid there. You see that? Perfectly enables him to cross and, and, and maintain that threat. Now you see Golden. He had plans. Now his plans are cancelled. I'm afraid you have to watch that ladder push because we have no bloody info. Lovely stuff from Heroic, keeping me on my toes. And Crims too. <laughs> I love the fact that because of that flank before, they now have to really keep this in mind. You don't get that freedom of having all your players around, and Golden's right to be feeling as though someone's up there. Borup is. Just by surviving, Borup is basically like the longest smoke grenade in history. The gun barrel. Oh, and he gets it. We're cooking so good. Does he go down? Does he continue to fight? He's about to have nades thrown all over the shop. Smoked. Survival is pretty much the best thing he can contribute at this point. A late lurk from him. Hadian's on B. Firing off a warning shot, the flusher gets the info. Bomb's low. Oh my oh, god, look at the damage! Another one, he dinks him! Tessus finishes off the job! Heroic could win this map with just two weapons and pistols! Recovering the bomb is Brolin. Flusher on his way, he's still in limbo. Doesn't look like he's committing towards B. And Heroic are starting to put all of the pieces in the wrong place. They've actually vacated B altogether. Oh my. Now that's a look. That makes me nervous. I Ooh. did get sweaty palms then Ooh. a little bit, if I'm honest, but they know better than me. Information's been found, but already the T's are moving. Ten seconds left. They've got to make this one count. It's all but over. Down goes Flush, and it's just Brolin alive. Oh, if only he had time. That was gorgeous. Gets himself to a stylish.